What's up everybody? I'm back with another video. So let's see, we got this resistance area. Every single person knows that this is a potentially like uh, the market is just potentially just dropping, right? So why wouldn't I go with the sellers right here? You know, we got this momentum right here. Even if we lose this, we are going with the preferred uh, direction of the market. Maybe I should have gone for two minutes, but I'm going to enter at this rejection point if it goes up. Yeah, this is my first trade. I don't know. Uh, there's a problem with me that when I'm just starting the trading session, I just want to take the first trade as random as possible. I don't know what is wrong, but it's not a good behavior. That's crazy, right? So, yeah, here... If you look at the bigger picture you see that the market moves like this comes you know it's kind of like this so this time also it's gonna move like this right so the preferred direction of the market is this one and yeah i have two winning trades right here oh one of them losing no problem basically we got this draw but i don't know what is wrong with me i just take the first trade some some kind of random but we're gonna focus now and take a couple of trades all right we got this doji broken but there's not other reason to take this trade so i'm not gonna take it because the market is coming down we might get this green candle but i'm not gonna risk that shit. okay here there's a rejection market and there's a doji basically this trade was takeable this one also might be takeable but we didn't take it there's a support area previously started off previously we got this doji and worked also this trade was takeable also this trade was takeable so many trades um so many opportunities in the market here also i was about to enter somewhere here but we didn't get the chance okay i go with the buys right here because i'm expecting a rejection this is the common rejection point if the previous candle was coming down, that would be perfect entry, but this time, there's a little higher risk. Oh my god, it's not a good startup. Yep. But, no problem, if you break this doji... My phone is ringing. Hold on. Okay, so let's see if we're gonna win this. Today my situation is not very stable i'm just trying to record a video for you all right we win this trade we also have another opportunity this doji right here right so let's see you got this rejection okay all right let's find a couple other opportunities Oh, look at this one. This doji, you see this doji right here? And we broke this doji. Flows right on the round number. Combining with the support becoming resistance. You see how beautiful was this trade? I just see a lot of opportunities that we missed. Alright. Okay, if you're finally breaking this doji. Let's see if the dynamic support area is gonna be somewhere here. I really want some round number or something. Yeah, we got this one, but it's not super strong. Uh, I'm going to risk 50 here. Oh my god, what is this gap? It's crazy gap right here. I'm going to risk 50 because... Let's see. But I'm not sure, and the trade is kind of dangerous. I'm going to risk lower amounts, especially now. I have to go somewhere, and I'm just trying to force some trades for you but this is the most unhealthy way of trading okay but it's good for you to see how forcing trade looks like for example here we got this crazy gap but since we're coming from this area luckily they can enter and also 
This is a pattern which needs the retracement and also the stoji break previously. Rejection point, basically we have three level for buyer's entry here. All right, this is a winning trade. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, look at this doji. Look at this doji didn't work. You know why it didn't work? Because of this gap up. This gap up basically has hold this candle. This this supposed to be a green candle, and then this gap appeared and has you know it's it eat the previous uh, eat the expected um, green candle here. You know that's why the gap ups are sometimes. Sometimes they should be avoided. Okay, here we had this strong, super, like crazy uptrend. Now the market is trying to change the direction. This is the resistance. Maybe it's going to become support. This is another level, but I'm not going to go this one. I feel like we're going to have a couple of green ones and then drop. So I'm not trusting this one. All right, we got this seller's entry. Previously, this um, trend line has been broken. The market's direction is kind of going off. But if we are exactly closing on this, They are so strong. The bars are so strong. I'm not trying to take this trade. All right, get this one. Oh, which one was that? Oh, I lost it. Okay. I was about to take this buy right here, but. I'm not sure because of this movement, but this is basically bullish sign that it's going to keep going up. All right. Look at this one. We got the support again, support broken the support becoming resistance and also this round number and it's a pattern needs retracement Okay, we got this long week market. All right, so, okay. We 
see some strong bullish movements. But I'm going to take the sell trade. Let's go. If it goes up, I will add more. All right. Guys, the reason behind this trade is because this is a very strong, like a long candle. Long candles are often sign of reversal, and it's also needing the retracement. All right, that was a close. That was also close, but um, this is also red green pattern, green red green red. So one reason is red green pattern. Another reason is um, the retracement requirement and also this is a rejection point basically the sellers are somewhere here so they can again push the price down but the bars are super strong here this is a lot of bullish volume and they reject it again so this is a very strong sign that the market will, will eventually break this to the upside so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed and uh, drop a like for me if you like this video thank you for watching peace out